everybody, today we're going to be doing, well, I'm going to be doing my first ever clay art video. And I just wanted to show you guys how you can make a little decoration maybe for spring. Because, um, you know, spring and flowers and all that. I have a really good idea. So you're going to need some clay, any kind of clay. And let's just get started. So. You can use any kind of pot you want. I want to use this kind of colored pot because it's the only one I have. But let's just get to it. So we're gonna squish this part. Squish this part, and then I should. Um, and then you're also gonna need a knife. So a knife that's like plastic, either something plastic that you don't use really. That's like um, non-usable is plastic so you're gonna need to squish it out like this but it depends on how long you're gonna want your pot so let's squish it out enough and you're gonna use your knife to cut it into a rectangle yes a rectangle and I this is like my last pot of, like this is my last plot of clay so I'm gonna try to make um make use of it today and just make um, make sure I have more for a few more days later. For summer, I guess, but I'm not gonna last that long, I know. So, cut it into a rectangle, just like that, and just make sure it's even, like, like both sides are equal. And don't forget to cut this side so it's straight, right here. So let's just cut that off. And cut this off. Right now, um, the the dryer is right now working right now, so we're gonna. I'm gonna just gonna have to talk louder. <laughs> yeah. So next part is you have to roll your clay into a ball to the bottom part of the pot. So just roll a ball and then squish it with your thumb to make perfect circle and now right here we're gonna try to adjust it and so you have your little little piece right there and you're gonna you're gonna put this together oh oh uh, you're gonna put those you're gonna connect it together into a circle with the holes in it of course like this and then you're gonna you're just gonna stick it on and that's the first step of the pot but now we're gonna make some dirt um be right back you guys okay guys i'm back i just have to fix it and it should look kind of like this i guess and the next part we're doing is to make some dirt and you can mix some green and some gray, maybe, or if you don't have gray, you can use pink and green. So I'll be right back with the mixed pack. So hold on. Anyway, guys, just use some green if you want for grass and I'll use it anyway. So you're gonna grab a chunk to fill up your pot, plot, plot, plot. You don't have to fill it all the way, but just stick it in there like this. And you can have some details with the knife, probably, because I would use a knife. But it's up to you guys, this is your flower pot. So I'm just gonna dab, 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 like this. Just like that. And you should probably make some texture to it, so it's more, you should probably put some texture textures to it because it it's better when it's like more detailed but really it's just you guys so just kind of plop it in there mine is not perfect but I tried <laughs> and we're gonna make the stem now to the flower part. so just make a little stem not too thin because you're gonna want it to stick 
and just make something like this. And then this part, you're just gonna have to, this part right here, see, you want it to stick in somehow. But we, you can just leave it like that if you want. So we're gonna do that. And the next step is to make the actual flower on top. But we want it small because the flower, the, the, the flower stem cannot hold that much in the process I'm making, but eh, I don't know. But let's get to it anyway. So let's grab, okay, so we're gonna make a ball, just like this, a tiny little ball like this. Tiny little ball and we're gonna use some, I'm gonna use some pink, but really any color you guys want. So, squish it out like this, or if you have a rolling pin at home, you can use it, but make sure it's washable, like like an iron one. Like, not an iron, but stone, I guess. Oh, 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 I am so sorry, you guys. Uh, be right back. Okay, I'm back, you guys, and I have my clay, which is mixed up, because last time, because I found this at my grandma's house, and <laughs> we mixed it up. Yeah, so um, to do this, the process you're gonna do is easy. You just have to, here, right here, and then, I'm gonna put this a little bit farther so you guys can see, and then just cut a teardrop, or you can use a teardrop, um, you know, teardrop mold, or, Cutter, here's drop cookie cutter. It's sad, but it's fine. Okay, so you should have this or something better than this. Just make a flower petal like this somehow, and then use, and then you're gonna come on, you're gonna come here, and you're gonna press it onto here. Just like this. So you're just gonna repeat the process about probably four more times. Be right back, you guys. Be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back with the very unusual flower I made. And now the last part is just grab your pot and stick the flower on it. But be careful, because these don't hold up too much, but this is the flower I made, I guess, it's drooping, super sad, but right now it's a beautiful flower. Um, <laughs> it looks like it's dying, but it's not. I tried. And you can put this anywhere in, I'm just suggesting this is a good, um, this is a really good decoration for spring because spring and flowers, you know that. And I'll see you guys in the next video oh and one more thing i'm sorry i didn't post so many videos because um as a youtuber i, I don't think of that much but i'll see you guys in the next video peace out